sir. Your reputation matters to me as much as your good health and happiness does. Indeed, your good name matters more. What could a loving son be more jealous of than his father's reputation? And what could please a father more than to see his son's concern that people will think well of him? Then let me beg you to have second thoughts and not be certain that your own opinion is the only right one and that all men share it. The man who thinks he has the monopoly of wisdom and that only what he says and what he thinks is of any relevance reveals his own shallowness of mind with every word he says. The man of judgment knows it's a sign of strength, not weakness, to value others' opinions and to learn from them, and when he's wrong, to admit it openly and change his mind. You see it when a river floods... The trees that bend survive. Those whose trunks are inflexible are snapped off short by the weight of water. And a sailor in a storm who refuses to reef his sail and run with the wind is likely to end up capsized. I beg you, Father, think twice about this. Don't let your anger influence you. If a man of my age may lay some small claim to common sense, let me say this, absolute certainty is fine. If a man can be certain that his wisdom is absolute. But such certainty and such wisdom is rare among men. And that being so, the next best is to learn to listen. And to take good advice when it's offered. There's a lot of sense, my Lord Crayon, in what this young man has said. 